Well, your boobs don't look too bad from underneath with that breastplate. But that's okay with me. I've always liked ass more, and it looks like you're seriously got it going on back there. You have to, you have to work it out. It has to okay. turn itself off. This is so welcome back, schlub monkeys. We are playing the, the dating sims for schoolgirls squiggly. Um, so... We had like the worst ending ever. It was the best ending. That was the worst ending. Well, I don't, I don't know where else we can go. Well, uh, we did. We need to go through all of them. Uh, we went through a good amount. Uh, did we do this one? Uh, God, it's so depressing. Did we do this one? Yes, we did the measurements. Liked her ass. Uh, we could just continue eating. Uh, let's see. We could do. We could do. Uh, yeah. Let's just go eat. Let's just eat. <clears throat> okay. I, I think we've talked enough in our eighties, really. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've ordered yet, but okay. You call a bartender and order the house specialist. Squiggly orders spaghetti with a tall glass of orange cream soda. The food is brought out shortly, and both eagerly dig in. You, you, think, you think about her measurements. Yes. <laughs> the two of you leisurely enjoy your meal when S Squiggly suddenly looks over and sees something strange happening the other end of the counter. Oh, what the hell's going on with those two over there? How where? You turn and get a look at the girl across the cafe who appears to be around 16 years old. You look, you see her trying to enjoy a milkshake when the man in the yellow shirt starts siding up next to her. Well, 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 what do we have here? Uh, hmm? The girl notices the man, but has no time to react before he hunches over her and gropes her. Yeah, it looks like a pedophile. Yeah, it does. <laughs> hmm? What say I buy you a real drink, sister? How about they have a drink? Uh, that's quite a deep voice you got there, little lady, but it's cute. That's it? You have messed with the shit? Now you're going to get the smell? He's angry. A parasite! The man rushes out of the cafe in a panic, and the girl leaves shortly after with an embarrassed look on her face. You and Squiggly get up from your seat and stare at the window at a, fleeting, at a fleeing girl in stunned shock. What the hell just happened? Well, that was a, a hair parasite. They call them crabs. No, surely that can't be him. I had not seen hide nor hair of him since. Wait, him? I'm pretty sure it was a girl just now, Leviathan. No, 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 you don't understand. The creature on top of the young woman's head, it was a parasite. A shape-changing, scalp-infesting parasite known only as... Samson. It's pronounced, uh, Thamson. Champion. Another parasite? That, that woman has a has crabs on her head. She doesn't know yet. Wait, parasites, so like another one of you then? No, Pussy Fort, not like me at all. Unlike myself, that repugnant, tangled mass is vile to the core. 
As opposed to you, who is only outwardly vile. Look at it. Samson and I share a rather turbulent history. Though we were once close acquaintances, I washed my hands of him after he succumbed to his lower instincts in pursuit of his own selfish ends, bringing death and destruction to many a host. I never thought I'd see him again, especially not after that incident with her. But since he is here, the heart is also nearby. Then that must mean... <gasps> Squidly! Pussyfoot! We must be after those two immediately. Immediately? Call it a hunch, my lady, but I am very strong opinion that that Mano... Ma. That Ma knows yeah. a thing or two about it. We must stop him and that poor young woman's he absconded with before they get far. Alright. Quickly, carry me. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> I'm right behind you, Squiggly. Leviathan withdraws into Squiggly's head as she rushes out the door and you, you take one last forlorn gla glance at your unfinished plate as you swiftly follow behind them into the moonlit city streets. Before long, you and Squiggly find the girl with the parasite on her head in a dark alleyway. The parasite snarls as the girl pants and glances around anxiously. Well, he, just, he just growls at the girl's pants. Mm -hmm. well, there, 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 there they are. Maybe. <clears throat> Samson, you've got to stop doing that. You're drawing too much attention to us. Yeah, don't worry about it. He was asking for it. No one touches my meat bag. I know you mean well, but I can't take care of I can't take care of myself. You're full of shit. Alright, uh, hold that hold that thought. There's things around. Shit. <laughs> What's wrong, Samson? I think I just shit myself. Don't look at me. Well, now's the time to prove you can take care of yourself. I'm out of, out of the fight. You and Squiggly approach the girl and give a friendly wave as she looks at you garden, gardenly, gardenly, sure, that word. Hi, hi, hi there, miss. My name's Pussy Fort. And my name is Jackelson. But I normally answer to Squiggly. We have your name and your wallet. Um, my name's Felia. Nice to meet you, Squiggly and Pussy Fort. Anyways, we're pleased to meet you as well. Now, give me your wallet. It's a good. It's a nice night out. Give me your wallet. It's not your damn business. What we're doing here. Get the hell out of here. Oh my god, you're Samson. <laughs> you will not drive us away, you miscreant. Who, who's talking? So we meet again, Samson, still surely as ever, I see. Who are you? Oh, uh, I didn't recognize you in that head. Take one uh, body bag. All these years, and you still got nothing to show for it, except except a dead body for a host. And again, just a worm inside a dead body. Ah! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you smart piece of shit. I will shred you into common de decency. I yeah, don't bad mouth squiggly fizzball. She may be dead, but she, she looks and smells a lot nicer than your ugly ass. Pay this lice ridden imbecile no mind, you two. As I said, he is vile to the core. Trust me, I should know. Look at his mouth. There's nothing but vile in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you two know each other already. Unfortunately. I I'm sorry about Samson. I'm sure he didn't mean to say that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> You're Samson, dude. Why it's Samson? Again, I'm sorry, all of you. I hope uh, this doesn't stop us from being friends. Too late, I'm triggered. Yes, same here. No, no harm, no foul, I guess. No worries, Miss Felia. The fault was never yours to begin with. Mm, thanks. Yeah, these chumps are worth our time, kid. Let's ditch him and go to the movies. Look at my hand. That is not a hand. That is a hand. I think that can wait a bit, Samson. There's two... There's two are my new friends, and right now I want to get to know them a little more. No. My cake is burning in the oven. Fine. Don't talk about me in your conversation. So, um, you two had something to ask me? What happened back there in the cafe? So he saw what you did back there. Cafe? Oh, you you, you saw that, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. Thanks for asking. I mean, she's not. We're glad to he we're we're yeah we're glad to hear that uh, that dirty old creep had no right putting his hands on you like that. Yeah, you got that right. You know, Samson, it was kind of cool seeing you mess that guy up and send him running only a few seconds later. It's pretty impressive, I I must admit. Oh, you really think so? Well, you're full of shit. That person playing grass with me? My meat bag? He was just asking for it. You might not look as dumb as you look, but you're pretty stupid. Um, thanks. Samson. Uh, are you from around here? <clears throat> so are you around this area? Um, I, I think so. Pay no attention to my gun, just answer my question. It's, you think so? What do you mean, Ophelia? Do you have no places to live? That, that, uh... I don't. I don't really know if if I do. I I can't remember where it is. You can't remember your own home. Goodness, Miss Felia, might you by chance be suffering some some form of amnesia? Oh, oh well. Get out of here, worm. This is my meat bag's mind, and none of your business. <coughs> So she forgets stuff. This is something about damaged brain or something. There's some I'm pretty smart me being attached to it. Touchy, touchy. <clears throat> you you rapscallion. 
you did something to this young woman and then you're only seeking to cover your own flea-biting hide. I know your way, Samson. Whatever mischief you've made this time, I'll not let you get away with it. I was told it was candy. And I'll kill you in your meat bag. Right here. God, God damn it, calm down, jeez. Guys, guys. Hmm. Okay. Now, you know, Ophelia, if you can't remember something as fundamental as where you live, I think there may be something seriously impacting your memories. Yeah, I, I know. You're, you're right. My memory is not what it used to be. That's why I have to go find the... Uh, um, nothing. What? What? You tell me what you're going to say? You say it right now? Mm, nothing really. That's it? I'll choke slam you so hard. Um, um, this girl's definitely having some major mental problems, which may or may not be caused by the monstrosity on her head. I since both of them are keeping a pretty big secret. Uh, about Samson and Leviathan? So, Samson, what's the deal with you and Leviathan? Why is there so much heat between the two of you? He was my boyfriend. And don't ask me what the problem is. He's being self-righteous. Hey, look, there he is now. He's a worm. Don't lie to him, Samson. You know good and well that I object to your numerous misdeeds. <laughs> I bet you're not even shared any of them with your young lady you currently invest. Sort of like it was in quotations. Mm -hmm. Miss Philia. Pray tell, has Samson told you yet anything about the tale of Dahlia? Uh, Dahlia? Who, who's that? I've never heard of the name before. It figures. Just don't talk about Delilah like that. Or rip you out of your your body. Oh no. May I have touched a nerve, Samson? Are you unwilling to divulge the secret of your most cherished host? Go ahead, tell us all what became of the poor Dahlia during the age of Nifru. It wasn't my fault. The crimson crimson eat crimsons. It was her fault. I killed. You were saying, Samson. Um, um, I think you've grilled him enough, Leviathan. Ease up on him, will you? Pussyfoot, you can't honestly be feeling sympathetic towards this miserable creature. Have you already gotten the dis deplorable comments he's made of both of you and my mistress? Well, that is true. This still seems kind of wrong to me. Samson's a bit of a jerk, but yeah, even he should be made to relive. He should not be made to relive such obvious painful memories. Samson's history has nothing to do with what we're trying to do right now. The only thing we really need to be asking is he knows where the skull heart is. Hmm, yes, I suppose you're right. Very well. It seems your secret is safe another day, Samson. You okay, Samson? Uh, I'm not crying, it's just raining. 
Yeah, I kind of do, actually. It seems this rivalry isn't as one-sided as I'd originally thought. In any case, let's move on now. Yeah. Hey, uh, you human, not not infested me bag. Yes, yeah, Samson. Just five minutes later, just staring at him. And thanks for sticking up for me. But I don't owe you anything. Don't ask me for stuff. No problem. That was rather unusual for someone like him. Hmm. Maybe he's trying to open up to me now. Um. Okay, so you would do a quick save, then do that. I can't. The, the, for some reason, visual novels won't let me quick save when I'm on the selection screen. Okay, well, um, uh, first new friend. There you go. Uh, uh, yeah, I was uh, wondering. Uh, uh, so what do you mean, the first new friends? Yeah, I, I was wondering that myself, actually. Well, um, uh, I, I don't really have any friends or even family, at least not anymore anyways. I've just been alone with Samson since, well, for as long as I can remember. You nerd. Which admittedly isn't very long at all. How dare you say that about me? So you've been along with no one? That sounds like fun. So what happened? Did they uh, get shot and murdered by the Mafia? I, I don't know who my friends and family are. I don't even know who I am. I just can't remember anyone. Well, except for that one girl. Mm. Uh, that one girl? Yeah, this one girl who I think was my best friend, her name was Carol, I think. I'm not sure, but I think something might have happened that led to me hurting her. I, I don't know what it is, but I have to find out. Sold her out to Lab Zero, that's what happened. I gotta find her and make up whatever I did to her. I, I have to get my memory back. No matter what it takes. Anyways, take it easy. And I want to take a take a page from that rag doll and that worm. You keep running your mouth, and you might say something, and then we might get killed. Mm, but Samson, they could help. You can you can't be a thought. I don't know why it's grayed out. You don't need help. Especially not from those people. You know, you know it's on the loose. Anyways, I said I was going to help you out. I have some faith in me. Yes, Samson. Those two keep muttering amongst themselves. By now, Squiggly and I, uh, Squiggly and Leviathan, have to know. They're keeping something from us. Squeeze not doing anything, just picking her mouth. Mm hmm. You'll get infection. There just might be no other choice but to wring the truth out of them. I'll get the chair. So you're kind of hot? So you're kind of hot? So you're kind of hot? <laughs> so you're kind of hot? Fine jellyfish. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Those are lights. You know, if I could be totally upfront with you, Felia, you're um, kind of hot. <gasps> Both of them. <laughs> well, Leviathan shows no emotions. Oh, did you just call me? My word. Such a, such a big word. What has gotten into you, Pussyfoot? 
Uh, uh, what? Oh, no offense to you, Squiggly. You and Feely are both pretty attractive, if you ask me. To be honest, I'm actually finding it hard to choose between two of you. Uh, oh, um, thank you. Um, you sheepishly glance back at Squiggly as she and Leviathan shoot a frigid stare. Oh, I, I, it was, it was a joke. I mean, I wasn't joking about the two of you being attractive, of course. But, you know, right? Mm. 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 Oh, God, this is so awkward. Why the hell did I have to go and say that? Because your inside voice has told you to. Because, yes. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Just, just forget it. Just forget it. I advise you to forget any hope you had of romancing my mistress, Pussyfoot. I assure you, your chances of winning her heart have been all but shattered. Shit. Isn't that right, my lady? What? What's going on? Man, I'm screwed now. I'm gonna go to bed. Let's just all move on. This guy. They tell me I have a big face. Should I reload? Is that going to affect everything in the future? I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Uh, we'll be right back, guys. Um, okay, so... Have we done this one? We did. Or they they, they the don't heart. remember. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the school heart. So, Felia, Samson, do either of you know anything about uh, the Skull Heart? The Skull Heart, no. We never heard of that at all. You never heard of it? How is that possible? Unless you're a filthy liar. Anyways, a uh, previous, previous one. Well, not really. I've lost most of my memory. So you're a liar. I can't recall much anything since getting attached to Samson. Damn it, woman. No memory. I knew it. You follicular fiend. You are responsible for Miss Felia's memory loss, aren't you? Hey, you ain't pro shit. You, you, you tell him, meatbag. It's true. I'm looking for the skull heart, and Samson's helping me find it. I plan to use it to wish my memories back, so I can make up for something bad I think I did to someone close to me. You, you intend to use the skull heart on yourself? You selfish piece of shit. I'll kill you. Uh, are you. Are you behind this, Samson? It's obvious you're manipulating this poor girl's grief just to claim the heart for yourself. Ought to extract you from her scalp like the louse you are. Be like the Native Americans. What? What? <laughs> huh? The Native Americans, they did that to why you. Okay. Yes. I, I, do, I don't really know the history about Hawaii, but uh, it's okay. Not about Hawaii. Na Native Americans. Uh, okay. They, they scalp people. Yeah. It's so. how you'd remove Samson when he's suggesting. But she would die probably too. So I'm sure she'll, fly. she'll be fine. I'm going to just like, uh. cut that part out. <laughs>